as you can see, it's an Orange County Association of Realtors formed, and you got the property address. The first uh, disclosure has to do with the Tustin Marine Helicopter and El Toro Marine Base. Now, if you have never been to Orange County, you're probably not aware that in Orange County, uh, the, there is a military uh, bases uh, in Orange County. One of them is the El Toro. And it says here, buyer and seller advise that the Tustin Marine Helicopter Base and the El Toro Marine Base, the Marine Bases, have been closed by the Department of Defense. The Tustin facility is being developed by Sentex and Shear into the Tustin Legacy, a mixed-use community with uh, office, commercial, and retail space, and up to 4,500 homes. The El Toro Marine Base has been sold to Lennar and a developing and a development including up to 3,450 homes, industrial and research and development entitlements, retail and office space is planned. Buyers should contact the appropriate city government or developer for more information about this project. Uh, this one is basically just saying that these bases have been closed and then they are being used as a development project now. Okay. Send on of the uh, nuclear generating, generating station songs notification. If you ever drove from Orange County to um, uh, what I call that, the uh, San Diego, you will realize there is a nuclear power plant on the way there, and it's right on the coastline and that is the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station. Buyer and seller advise that there is nuclear power plant at San Onofre, California, located on the California coast between Los Angeles and San Diego. Although Songs is no longer producing power, it is in a decommission process that will take years to complete. What that means is, uh, they are trying to phase out. They are trying to close the nuclear power plant. However, it is not completely closed yet. What that means is, uh, you know, it's not being used. However, uh, it is something that uh, concerns some of the residents because it's a nuclear power plant. But in terms of, uh, you know, how soon they will complete the decommissioning, really, we don't really know at this point. Uh, we can uh, hope that it will be closed as soon as possible. If you want to know more about this uh, San Onofre nuclear power plant in South Orange County, you can go to this website to check it out. Toll roads and freeways. Buy and sell advice that public officials are considering the construction of new roads and freeways, access roads to freeways and other road developments that may affect the property. Furthermore, there is consideration being given to the widening of various roads and freeways that currently exist. Among others, the Orange County's Foothill Eastern Transportation Agency has proposed a 16-mile extension of the Foothill 241 toll road east of the I-5 uh, running from just south of San Clemente through Taliga and ending at Oso Parkway between Mission Viejo and Coto de Casa. Uh, this is just basically to disclose to the buyer that there is a new proposed um, extension of the Foothill uh, Toll Road, which is a 16-mile extension. Transportation Corridor. I sell advice that the property must be located in an area where public authorities are completing construction or extension of freeway or other transportation projects. Plans for exact locations and extent of these projects may change before completion. It is recommended that buyer review Caltrans city or county documentation dealing with the proposed 
uh, projects. Further, by his advice, that subject property may be located in the vicinity of the eastern San Joaquin Hills or Foothill Transportation Corridors. This is just to uh, essentially give warning to the buyers that perhaps uh, they need to be aware that there might be a transportation corridor, which may, may or may not be a good thing for the buyer. You know, we don't really know, okay? Highway construction. Buy and sell advice that Caltrans has begun or in the planning stages of various highway construction projects throughout California. And uh, they're talking about the I-5 southbound interchange at Camino Capistrano and the construction along uh, uh, State Route 74 from uh, San Juan Canyon Bridge to Riverside County Line. So these are the two construction that is going on that the buyer should be aware of. Aircraft noise. There are a couple of aircraft uh, airports here. You got the Orange County, the John Wayne Airport. We know about that. And uh, the Irvine Music County Correctional uh, I'm sorry, the, the number six has to do with the aircraft noise. Uh, there are still military uh, helicopters that might be flying around Orange County once in a while. Okay? So if uh, they, sometimes when they fly, they fly at very low altitudes. We know about John Wayne Airport, Irvine Music County Correctional Facility, which is a jail or penitentiary. So the buy and sell advised that the Music County Correctional Facility located in New Irvine has proposed expansion and changes in classification. So this one has to do with, uh, you know, disclosing to the buyer that, you know, the correctional facility might be expanded. Rapid bus or other mass uh, transit uh, the buy and sell advice that Orange County Transportation Authority has approved three rapid bus routes covering 69 miles in the county. Uh, just to uh, disclose to the buyer, Newport Beach Pier Slip Float. Buy and seller are advised that Pier and Slip Float associated with the property. If any or any portion thereof owned by seller, are including the purchase price of the property. The transfer fee, if any, for the pier and slip float is to be paid by the buyer or seller. Uh, if required, seller shall provide buyer with a written inspection report from the uh, appropriate uh, government uh, agency. This is talking about properties that are close to the pier or close to the coastline where uh, some of these are actually included in the purchase price in case you have a pier or slip or float, okay? Red imported uh, fire ants is uh, um, fire ants have been discovered in uh, Orange County. So they are making disclosure to make the buyer aware that there are fire ants in uh, Orange County. California Coastal Commission. Buy and sell advice that development and or construction on the project may be subject to the jurisdiction and requirements of the California Coastal Commission and or County of uh, Orange. Now, if you've never heard of Coastal Commission, Coastal Commission is a governmental agency that has jurisdiction over uh, shoreline or coastline development. Uh, there is a, uh, a Half Moon Bay project that I might be involved in. We submitted the LOI that was already accepted. And that's a project that involves uh, 80 units of single family residents. And that's the one that is going to involve Coastal Commission during the planning phase. But this is uh, disclosed here because Coastal Commission actually has jurisdiction uh, along pretty much uh, the entire California coastline. And development of any project 
may be subject to the jurisdiction and the requirements of the Coastal Commission and or County of Orange. So if your buyer, and this is very important for a buyer that are interested in beach properties, if they're buying a vacant land hoping to build their dream home, they need to be aware that one of the governmental agencies that will regulate any development along the coastline is Coastal Commission, okay? Uh, just need to be aware of. Now, one extra agency means one extra obstacle you have to overcome. Now, in Half Moon Bay, we have two agencies we have to deal with. We have to deal with uh, Coastal Commission, and we have to deal with the city of uh, Half Moon Bay, okay? And it says here, the development of beachfront property may also be impacted by the determination of mean high tide lines in relation to the boundary lines for beachfront property. If buyer has any questions or concern, buyer should contact the commission. So if you represent a buyer buying a coastal property, you might want to contact the coastal commission to see if uh, the mean high tide line in relation to the boundary line could affect your property. If it could affect, you need to know how much of uh, that property can be developed due to the restriction by the Coastal Commission. That is certainly something uh, that you need to know, okay? Uh, coastal properties views. Buy and sell advice that many coastal properties are subject to restrictions regarding height and or development that may impact a neighboring property's views. If views from the property or in its future development are concerns to buyer, by a broker strongly recommends the buyer contact the appropriate government entity to determine the existence and or extent of any such restrictions. What this is saying is, is that for beachfront property, sometimes the government may have certain restriction on how tall or how high the building can be, okay? Because they want to preserve your neighbor's views. So if you're buying a property on the coastline and you want to build something that is tall, pay attention. And they even, well, actually, they don't provide a phone number here. However, certainly, you want to go to the city to find out what kind of height restrictions they may have, right, if you're buying a vacant land, okay? Orange County Wildlife. Buyer and seller advise that Orange County is the home to numerous types of wildlife, including but not limited to maintain lions, coyotes, bobcats, rattlesnakes, raccoons, skunks, snakes, and possums. If buyers is concerned about these issues, broker recommend that they contact animal control. You know, um, I'm sure you guys are aware that in some parts of California, you have rattlesnakes, right? That rattlesnakes, and you have coyotes, and you have lions, especially in uh, the mountain area. Over there where I live, in Brisbane, I have seen coyotes. I have seen deers, but I've never seen lions, okay? <laughs> oh, in fact, I have seen possums. Yeah, you're always going to see wildlife when you have a hillside property, like in the mountain, okay? Laguna Beach sewer lines. Buy and seller advise that the city of Laguna Beach is investigating problems that it believes may be caused by aging sewer lines within the city. So what this is telling you is, is that some of these sewer lines uh, might be aging, like in Laguna Beach. It's true, in Laguna Beach, some of the sewer lines are aging. So if you're buying Laguna Beach uh, beachfront property, be aware of this issue. Buyers further aware that at the end of the inquiry, the city may require the repair or the replacement of some sewer lines, and the cost of the repair or replacement may be borne in whole or in part by the affected property owner. So if you buy a coastline property, 
within the city of uh, Laguna Beach. Inquire if your buyer may have to bear some of these costs for repairing the uh, old sewer line or the aging sewer line, okay? So it's important for you to know that. You might not think this is important, but one of these days when you have a transaction in that area, it becomes important. Irvine's, uh, Irvine Meadows Amphitheater. Uh, buy and seller advise that certain properties, specifically those located within the uh, subdivisions of Quail Hill and Shady Canyon, are located in the city of the Verizon Amphitheater, a venue used for, among other things, concerts. Buy is therefore aware that noise from the amphitheater as well as traffic caused by event attendees may affect the use and enjoyment of the property. So if you're buying in the Quail Hill area or the Shady Canyon area, you want to find out how far is this amphitheater from your uh, property. If it's very close, you want to anticipate noise that might come from the amphitheater whenever they have concert. Or if uh, you're close to uh, the road that goes into the amphitheater, you might encounter heavy traffic. So just to make the buyer aware, if you're buying in Quail Hill or Shady Canyon. Landfills and refuse disposal stations. Buy and sell advice that there are several operating landfills in Orange County area, Brea, Irvine, and San Juan Capistrano, and several close landfill sites and former refuse disposal stations. You know, if you go to Orange County, there are quite a number of landfills in Orange County. If you're buying in Irvine, you have the Bee Canyon landfill. And if you are buying in Brea, there is a landfill. I think it's the Ol Orinda landfill in the Bay area. San Juan Capestrano, I don't know what kind of landfill they have there, but apparently there is also landfill. Now, some of these landfills may be closed and some are still operating, so uh, pay attention. You can go to the landfill website. In fact, if you click here, unfortunately, I can't click here, okay? But if you click this uh, website, you can figure out all the landfills in Orange County. So if you have a client that's buying in Orange County, uh, that would be a good website to visit. Multiple homeowners associations. Buyer and seller advise that certain properties in Orange County are subject to multiple homeowners association, which may impose restrictions on the use and or development of the property and may charge separate and independent dues. You know, like you go to a uh, big development uh, project like Shady Canyon, uh, they have multiple HOAs. So in a big development project, be aware, sometimes there are multiple HOAs, okay? This is just to advise the buyer. Could you be subject to more than one HOA? Most likely not, but there's no guarantee that it won't happen, okay? Lifestyle fees. Buy and sell advice that HOA, including those at uh, Telag uh, Telaga and Ladera Ranch charge a lifestyle fee on the sale of the property within their development. These fees vary and are subject to change. Uh, the range is from one quarter to one half or one percent of the sale price of the property. So if you're buying in uh, Ladera Ranch, don't forget to check the HOA to see if they have lifestyle fees. It's just an additional fee that uh, they have to be paid, okay? And who pays for these fees? It's on the sale. If it's on the sale, it's negotiable. It can be paid by the seller or it can be paid by the buyer. The HOA doesn't care, okay? So if you are representing a buyer, you need to be aware to negotiate this particular fee. If you represent the, the seller as a listing agent, you also need to be aware to negotiate this fee, okay? 
San Clemente, uh, San Clemente Marblehead Coastal Project. Buy and sell advice that construction of the Marblehead Coastal Project is ongoing and partially completed. Plans for the project include 313 homes, 16 screen movie theater, parks, restaurants, and outlet mall, and other commercial properties, among other things. As you can see, this is a very big project, and it is in San Clemente. Three and 313 homes in San Clemente. How will it affect existing properties? It could affect existing properties in terms of the price, right? So if there is uh, a surplus or if you have a lot of, uh, now will it affect the price negatively or positively? It's hard to say because uh, if uh, you don't have a tight inventory in San Clemente with the addition of 313 new homes, certainly uh, it could affect the appreciation for the properties in San Clemente. Huntington Beach uh, desalination plan. Okay, apparently there is a desalination plan in Huntington Beach. If you don't know what a desalination plan is, you know seawater contains a high content of salt. How can you make it into drinking water? You desalinate. So you put it through the desalination plan. So Huntington Beach has a desalination plan proposal. There's a proposal to build a desalination plant within the city of Huntington Beach in the industrially zone area along Pacific Coast Highway at Newland Street, okay? Just to make the buyer aware. Newport Beach Ranch, buy and sell advice, there is a proposed uh, 402.3 acres development generally located North or West Coast Highway, east of the Santa Ana River and South <coughs> Talbert Nature Preserve and West of Superior Avenue, which consists of open space, parks, retail, commercial hotels. Again, another huge development. And this is in the Newport Banning area. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure where that is at, but you can check it out yourself, okay? So these are all the disclosures that we need to uh, study today. And uh, that concludes the uh, WebEx training today, and thank you everybody for showing up.